So I picked up this used ProLite 1000 machining center. And uh, from what I understand, it's a machine from around 1996. And um, it thought it would be a pretty good fit for what I want to do. It's, um, uh, I would say, pretty rigid for a hobby type machine for somebody like me. And uh, it's in really good shape, but um, these things ran on um, really old PCs. Um, so uh, having a control box for it and that PC to actually run it is uh, pretty hard to come by. Nor would I actually even want to use that. Um, so the plan is to take this guy and uh, put in new motor drivers and a new controller and run it off of uh, either gerbil or Mach 3 controller. And so what I've done so far, I've ordered some parts and I found uh, a used control box that I had uh, from when I was redoing a security system that I think I'm going to use to put all the components into. I think everything should fit in there good. Um, I've ordered uh, a cord, 50 watt power supply, uh, three stepper drivers. Uh, a couple step-down converters to uh, lower the voltage for uh, the controller. And what else needed the lower voltage? Something else like that. And um, I have this um, really cheap Mach 3 card that uh, I'm going to try and see if it works. It came with uh, some other drivers that I bought before and I never used it. And I found online a uh somebody has already done the hard work of figuring out what all these wires go to so i've uh you can see the back of the machine here and how clean everything is um i've already taken off these uh connectors off the cables and uh you can see there's a lot of stuff to hook up but luckily we have this chart right here, which should show us where everything goes uh, on the controller. So uh, I think I'm gonna start opening up all this gear and seeing what I have to work with. So this machine is, uh, I guess about 375 pounds. Um, I actually had to go buy an engine hoist just to get it up on this table. It's way, way too heavy for me to lift myself. Um, it's uh, really rigid for like, uh, I guess these were used in like, uh, education settings, so classrooms, I guess, workshops. Um, you can see the, the base here is, uh, I think it's some kind of, a, what is it, epoxy? Epoxy something, it's super heavy. You can see, I, I've already did a little bit uh, of cleanup on the machine, uh, try to remove a little rust, and I opened up all the boxes and looked at the motors, everything looks really good and clean. Um, I'm not even sure that this thing's even touched metal before. It looked like there was some wood dust on it, and that was about it. I didn't even see a single metal chip on it. I'll, I'll come around here and show you the back. You can see the hook there where I was able to hook it up to the engine hoist to lift it. Uh, and it's got a tray for catching chips and for coolant and this nice safety shield, uh, which I thought would be nice, uh, you know, as I have young kids. So yeah, the plan is to see, um, I imagine it's going to be quite a bit more rigid than my other machine, which is already pretty good, but uh, I think I'll kind of test them side by side and see how they compare on aluminum. Well, let's get to unboxing this stuff we got here.
connectors, all right. Guard and the power supply. Enough, 48 volts. I'm gonna flip that guy. Cool. Five forty two T. Double driver. It's good. Separate motors that are already on this machine are, I think, about three amps and 200 steps. So, you know, hopefully they will just be good and can use the originals. All right, let's see this controller. I think these are supposed to be extremely cheap. So we'll find out. I have it for free, so. We'll see if it works. If not, I'll hook up a Arduino and do a, a gerbil controller. Nice three prong power cord for the power supply. USB cord for the controller. And a couple 48 watt step down converters, I think, that we'll use to power the controller. Cool, all right. And the box, an old security box. I think it will be fine. I found the wiring diagram for my controller online. Um, here's a quick look of how I'm gonna wire everything up. All right, now for the box. Let's see. Not sure how all this is going to fit in here. some harnesses or something to get hold of this in here. Hmm. Maybe like this. No.
Hmm. I don't know, something like that might work. Okay, so I finally figured out how, after playing Tetris, how I wanted to lay out everything. So I've got the power supply in the top, three motor drivers, the controller, and I put a couple rails here that make all the connections easier. And I have the step-down converter over there for uh, the decrease the voltage to 12 volts for the controller. So now, I think I wanna run the wires through here. Put these straps on. Put those somewhere like that. This one will go up this side. That. Over here, maybe. Somebody was kind enough to post what all the uh, wire colors are for the Pro Light, so I'm going to use this as a reference on how to wire everything. I'll post a link in the description of their website. So I finished all the wiring, plugged it in, and immediately blew the step-down converter. So uh, yeah, I had to go back through and manually trace all the wires on my machine to, to see what was different. And here's what I found. Um, all the motor wiring was good, but the, the limit switches uh, were different for my controller and machine. So uh, here's uh, what I ended up doing. All right, now let's test the stepper motors. All right, let's see what happens. All right, I see movement. Awesome. Now you can see I can jog the machine around. And I can toggle the spindle.
So the couple things I had to set up was uh, setting up the motors for the controller, uh, the input signals. spindle and then I had to do the motor tunings for the X, Y, Z and spindle settings. Um, what else? I had to configure the homing and limits. Sure, well, that's not two. And then, then to set the units, go to the settings tab, uh, steps per unit right there. You choose the axis you want, type how far you want it to move, hit OK, and measure it, and make sure it moved there. So let's open up a uh, test G code. Run it, see what happens. <laughs> 